<sighs> what is good y'all what is good first day of fall thank god i miss the cold weather this heat is something else especially living out here in the south um i thought i'd drop a quick vlog today first go subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button smash that like button i am headed to the gym right now to get a quick workout uh and i'm going downtown i'm in savannah for those who are not in georgia or united states watching this i'm headed to a friend's uh little fashion soiree a uh, little vent and uh she invited me to come take some pictures and some video well she invited me i told her i'll come take some some pictures and some video she's a cool chick uh, she's the owner of Gypsy World Savannah. Go check her out on Instagram at Gypsy World Savannah. And I think that's the name on Facebook also. Uh, cool chick I've known for a while. She has some awesome vintage clothing. That's her specialty vintage clothing. She has a shop on Bullet Street in Savannah, Georgia. Awesome woman. Very friendly, very down to earth. And uh, she's always been there for me. Um, whenever I, uh, I needed her help as far as like on the wardrobe and uh, she's always come through and always had some cool looking wardrobe and accessories to use on the photo shoot so uh, yeah go check her out she's having an event uh, I don't know if she's having an event or someone else is having an event and I think she's styling the, uh, the models I can't remember but she asked me weeks ago and uh, we're both always so busy that it's hard keeping up with each other. She messaged me on Facebook, I think yesterday, and uh, I rarely check Facebook messages, and uh, I'm only on Facebook just to promote my, my magazine anyway. And she's like, hey, well, that's her, her voice. I uh, hope you are gonna come down to the event. Uh, I got you on the program, and um, hope you didn't forget. You know, I type her back like, oh, is that tomorrow? I forgot. I got you, I'm gonna be down there. I know it was this Saturday or next Saturday. I know it was one of these Saturdays close to the end of the month. So uh, I told her I got her. You know, I, if I wasn't doing anything, which uh, I can't say I wasn't. I was covering uh, the last bit of shows from Milan Fashion Week. And uh, I can't wait. Fashion Week is over, man. It just takes up so much of my time. I mean, between that and like retouching all the photos that i shot for uh, this company um i do work for in virginia it's been hella busy let me put on my seatbelt so uh yeah fashion week man and man my hard drive has so many images on it right now and i think before i left out of the house i was covering my Machino and Roberto Cavallari. I hope I said his name right. A couple of Italian brands, plus Philip Klein, and it's just a lot of work. Getting the images from off of their site, getting credits for the models, who designed it, who styled it, who did the makeup downloading images putting them on facebook putting them on my website sharing them on instagram sharing them on instagram stories you know snatching the instagram st uh stories from their 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 page sharing it on our page for for people who aren't following them or for people who may not know about those fashion houses and uh so our followers and our fans can keep up to date on it and uh this is all all part of the job man i mean part of running a fashion magazine and I thank God for all the hard work that I'm doing now and all the uh, experiences I, I'm having right now because when I finally get blessed with an office and like a staff of like 10 12 15 20 people it'll be so easy to delegate tasks not I mean not only that because I, 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 I'm what I'm doing right now is just basically teaching myself or what to teach them when I finally had that, that opportunity to do so I mean because I'm doing like 50 jobs at one time you know and, and I see why it's so hard to find good people 
you know, I'm always putting out there, I'm looking for bloggers, looking for bloggers. Uh, anybody interested in being writers, you know, staff writers and all that. And, and I have some, I have, I have some emails come through and it's always articles that I'm not really interested in. You know, like this, like this chick recently, she sent me a, a email. She was like, oh yeah, I would love to write for your site. I'm like, all right, cool, send me what you got. And then she like sends me like a, a little article about the 10, the 10 top bras or something. I'm like, I mean, that's cool and everything, but I'm like, it's fashion week right now. I'm like, you can't, I mean, hello. I mean, just a week and a half ago was London, I mean, New York. Last week was London, which like bled into Milan. And then, okay, hold on. I think, um, Denmark might have uh, a couple of shows coming up pretty soon also. But my thing is, with all these fashion runways going on and fashion houses introducing new collections for the spring and the summer, you send me an article about bustiers? Really? You know, and I'm like, this is the type of stuff I gotta deal with. You know, I'm like, if I was in New York or LA, it'd probably be different. Or, if my brand probably had 100,000 followers, 200,000, close to a million, I'll probably attract more people who actually, you know, did what I'm looking for. Because the way I push myself and the way I fashion myself as far as an uh, artist and as a business person is to model myself after the top, the top, the top brand who's doing what they're doing. If I got a fashion magazine, I want mine to be on the same level as Harper's Bazaar and Vogue and L and GQ. So I would expect the same people that approach me, whether I only have, because I only have like 20,000 followers right now. Big up to all my people who following us. Finally hit 20K. You know, next goal is 50. Anyway, that's how America is. America's all a number game, you know, and real bias. People only really mess with you unless you like buzzing, are you hot? And I remember these type of things, man, because when you come, when you come holler at me, when, when I'm finally like where I wanna be, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna be nasty, but I'm gonna be politely uh, standoffish, neglective, however you wanna put it. You know, uh, and I might have so much room to just do what I want. To us to the point that, you know, I'm just like, you know, you, you guys seen where we're at, don't try to call us right now. You know, it's a long line to get in. And it's people more qualified when, uh, when, when we were at the bottom trying to do what we wanted to do. You, you thought we, you, were, you were too good. To, to write for us or shoot for us or whatever because oh we only had 20,000 followers and I want to I want to submit my stuff to this magazine because they have a hundred thousand followers or whatever not knowing that that magazine is watching what we're doing because we're trending and we're and, and we're we're um, breaking new ground and you know what they're starting to model what we do and, and try to train change their brand or, or they try to I have a lot of people do that you know, a lot, good, a lot of people know about the internet. You can track a lot of stuff, and you can see who's looking at your work, and you can see who's watching you, and you can see who. Even on my on my Mr. Model Instagram page, my personal page, even though with my insights and I can track stuff, it's amazing to see how many people are from Savannah looking at my page. But I don't have a single person from Savannah saying a single thing on my page or commenting. You know, and it, and it, and it trips me out, and people always say, "Say, well, well, we'll act funny." You know. What I'm Look, y'all on my page, lurking on my page, and not saying a single thing. Just like my Facebook page, right? So I, I reactivated my Facebook because they took me down like last October, last September, they booted me off and said they had to deactivate my account. So I know a lot of people are like, what? I thought Will was on uh, Facebook, where you went at? That's what happened. And they kicked me off Facebook. And uh, I really didn't want to get back on it anyway because I hated Facebook and the majority on Facebook, people on Facebook, it's just about drama, foolishness, you know, stuff I'm not into, you know, females with the nastiest mouths, 
people reposting and sharing stuff I'm not interested in looking at it. I'm like Facebook to me is just like Instagram it's just a place I mean to me it's, it's a place for me to advertise my business and my work you know a lot I mean you can look at my page and tell that I mean my page is just for my work you know it's, it's not for me to be posting stupid videos you know videos of black people fighting videos of black people just doing the ratchet and ghetto and stuff you know it, it amazes me how our people always want to get into a huge debate or uh, fight the power moment whenever something bad happens but we we promote and share this stuff every day i'm like what happened when you put gasoline in the fire to get bigger i'm like if y'all want st stuff to, to stop happening why y'all keep sharing it and reposting and resharing it and enabling these 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 blog sites and enabling these websites they keep doing what they're doing about about uh reposting and resharing their content to the point that they get millions of views and to the point they just like you know what let's just keep sharing this because that's what that's what negroes like not to, let me get off my soapbox that's another reason i got off facebook because I mean, people can't you, know, you can't talk to folk and me talking about about this right now and y'all listening y'all y'all probably ain't even paying no attention anyway anyway i got back on facebook i think around february but i wasn't posting nothing and uh i just started uh i think the first person i added was like last month the only person I had on my friend list was a guy I built a website for, my boy um, down in Riceboro. And uh, I wasn't gonna add nobody. My whole goal was like, you know, I'm not adding nobody on Facebook. The only people I'm following is the people that, that do exactly what I do in my field and my work, which is the same way on my Instagram. I don't follow nobody locally. You don't take no offense to it, but I'm like, if you're not doing what I'm doing, you're not in my same field of work and my brand, I'm not interested in, I'm not, I'm not interested in seeing your kids. And you all taking pictures outside, talking first day of school. And I'm not interested in seeing you outside eating crabs, you, you downtown turning up, all them negative memes and, and, and words with backgrounds behind it when you cussing and talking. I don't want to see none of that. If you ain't talking about fashion, art, um, uh, finance, business, I don't, don't want to see none of it. So, all right. So I'm back. I couldn't figure out why my camera kept shutting off. Apparently, uh, my memory card was full. I'm just popped in another memory car. I'm trying to drive while looking at my phone. It's a GPS. But uh, yeah, so I was pressed for time. I wasn't gonna keep talking about Facebook. And uh, I had to go work out real quick. I told her I would be down here like around six o'clock. I'm always a person I like to be on time. And uh. I do want to stop somewhere and get some peppermints though. Just in case my breath might be tart. I don't know. I don't smell anything, so I guess it's good. I guess. But you never know. I might meet a little, little chickadee down here who's single like I, which is really rare in Savannah. Well, I'll take that back. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of single women in Savannah, but single that I'm attracted to, that's rare. A lot of people say, oh, well, he's so picky, and well, there's nothing wrong with that. People picky when they go to a car lot, they want a certain type of car. When they, when they go shopping, they want a certain type of dress. And go to the salon and want a certain type of hairstyle. I have a certain type of taste in women that I like. You know, and uh, unlike the majority of these dudes out here, it don't start from what's what's in the back and what's up front, sitting up top on top of the chest. I could care less about that. So uh, I think that kind of throw a lot of females off, cause. In today's society, I guess that's what's hot right now, is having a big butt, a skinny waist, and some nice uh, some nice breasts. That's the last thing I look at. You can't hold a conversation for 10 minutes about life, goals, and... I have no interest in talking to you. If you have no interest in and following a man as he follows Christ so he can be the head of your household. I'm not interested in talking to you. If you have no 
interested in talking about marriage or what you're going to be doing 10 years down the road i have no interest in talking to you enjoy these chicks i mean the bulk of their conversation doesn't exceed past what's popping on instagram or reality tv and uh i'm just not for it reserved for savannah police pocket only are you serious yo i'm at kroger's trying to go run in there and get me a quick uh snack because i'm pretty sure they're gonna have some snacks down here but just in case they're in there um <sighs> yeah to be continued all right so i start the kroger give me some gum um, I ain't been in that Kroger. They don't have a shipment. Yes. So they got police everywhere. Security. There must be a lot of people running in there stealing stuff and walking out. Speaking of, bro, I was at the I was at the Choose on Avacorn. I don't know what I was getting that night. Man, dude walked in there, walked straight over there to the freezer, grabbed the bill, stuck it in his pants. Everybody watching him, even the lady at the counter. She she told told the dude, don't come back in here again. Why he doing it? He telling the lady behind the counter, the owner say, uh, I'm good for one. If you good for one, cuz, why you sticking it in your pants? So I'm like tucking it on his shirt. Walks out. I'm looking at this dude like you gotta be serious. When you start craving drinks like that and drugs like that, man. You gotta sit down and ask yourself, what am I doing with myself? Uh oh, got a little controversy going on over there. All right, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna mind my business. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mind my business. That's what the Lord said, do mind your business. That's what I do. I mind my business. That's why a lot of people wanna see me talking online. I learned to mind my business. Not to be a busybody. 800 feet, turn right onto East Oak Thorpe Avenue. Turn right, 800 feet. I should've stopped and got some gas. I can't remember, I don't remember the last time I've been downtown, cause I don't, I don't club no more. I don't drink no more, I don't smoke no more. Turn right onto East Oak Thorpe Avenue. So it's like really no purpose of me coming downtown, unless it's like for a business. I ought to get some pizza from uh, Sweet Melissa's. I will come down here for that. Yeah, people always say, you used to treat yourself, Will. You used to treat yourself, and I'm no. That's why people stay broke. I always feel the need to, to go out and spend money because you feel like you've done something. I worked so hard this week. I deserve this. You don't deserve nothing. That's what I tell myself. A lot of people should tell themselves that too. I don't know why everybody feel like they deserve something. I mean, like you shouldn't be working, uh, working hard. Everybody deserves something. That don't mean you should go out every week, every time you get a paycheck to go spend your money on something because you can't control your body. I don't got so good control of my body, man. I do not move from the house at all. I, don't, I mean, but I got a goal too. I mean, I got a goal that I'm trying to reach. And the goal and the goal that I, I'm trying to obtain requires sacrifice and requires saving money, and uh, it requires me, requires me staying home doing research, not sure how to help with that, studying my competition, so I can stay ahead of the game. I can't do that. I can't do that if I'm always out partying, drinking, smoking. I say I learned from that. That's the old will. That's what I used to do back in the day. For about four or five years ago. I got tired of that, man. I was doing music in Savannah. And I was like, this ain't working. I said, mom ain't raising, what's your grandma say? Mom ain't raising no dummy. You know, I'm about making money. If this ain't making money, why am I still doing this? I had to sit down and ask myself, what else am I? Turn left onto Habersham Street, then turn right onto East York Street. I had to sit down and ask myself, what else am I talented at? I'm like, well, I'm good at photography. You know, retouching and graphics and all that. So I was like, I'm gonna do this. 
you know what? My career took off. I never understand why people continue to do something and don't see no fruit from it. Don't see no fruit from their labor. Stay, they stay, t stay tilling to a tree, to a field that's dry and nothing growing from it. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do that. And now the field that I'm in is so competitive. I don't say it's competitive, but it's not too many. It's, it's not too many black uh, African Americans, as far as males, not black African Americans. It's not. It's not so many African American males. They are editors of magazines, and um, also uh, talented as far as like photography and graphics. And like I do a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff. It's not too many people doing it as far as where I'm at in my position. And if it is a magazine, it's always a female with her clothes or oiled up and greased down. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not into that. That's, that's boring to me. Even my portfolio before I started doing this. Right onto East York Street. I wasn't. Turn left onto Habersham Street. Okay, okay, lady. I wasn't, you know, taking pictures like that. It don't interest me. I, I got a lot of respect for females. I mean, I have no interest in. Turn left onto Habersham Street, then turn left onto East State Street. Is it? All right, man, shut up. I can see it. There. Keep talking. Is it? Oh, I see it. That's the building right there. Oh, God, I got to find some way to park. All right, let me shut this up. Right, let me find some way to park. All right, so I am Bizak. Head over to the Davenport house. See what's going on. Oh, I can't wait till it get cool. It is hot out here. But yeah, so uh, busy week. Been having a busy last two or three weeks for me because primarily it's a uh, fashion week all around the world. This is usually my busiest week of the year outside of uh, February when it's a uh, fashion week again, displaying fall winter collections. So they just wrapped up New York, London, now it's Milan right now and I'm covering that. And that's usually the busiest time of the year when it comes to fashion week. Covering all these fashion houses. I guess no one sees this line on the street where pedestrians are sp supposed to walk, I guess. People just drive and like, whatever, do you just wait. Living in the South is something else, I'll tell you that. I don't want to get in a whole conversation on my vlog about race and all that, but you notice some things living out here. I just I just grew to not think about it because I've stayed everywhere, West Coast, Mississippi, Virginia. So you see a lot of different things, different people and different faces. And you just thought, just like, I don't care anymore. So I know a lot of people take offense to it. Hey, the beautiful young ladies looking at me talk to myself. How are you guys doing? All right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm awesome. Just trying to stay cool, yeah. if, that's, if that's possible. Yeah, when everybody's getting outfits on and it's gonna all our faces are all gonna melt off. I know, right? Taylor? It looks terrible. I can't. Hi, Will! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I, we thought that he was so on there temporarily. He's always shows me love. Oh, you're trying to get a picture. No, I'm so sorry. Lisa. Yeah, these. We need to get off the bell. What's up, boys? How are you? How you been? Busy. Oh, I can maybe set my tripod up and just yeah, let it record. Yeah. There's, there's a photographer that 
comes with the tall blonde. She brought her own guy for her, oh. just like doing her thing. Her you thing. Know, mainly, yeah. And then there's you, and then there's this young man in here named Chu who's doing um, a little bit of stuff for Gypsy work, you know. Okay. Um, are you, so are you gonna do some vid videography? Or mm -hmm. are you just doing? Okay. Yeah. Well, I got my camera too. I'm going to take some pictures, so I was gonna do both. Oh yes. I'm, I'm gonna just sit. I'm gonna sit this on a tripod and let it record. Oh, and then okay. I, I'll take pictures with my camera. So let me tell you. So when the models, no, no, when the models work. get ready, they're gonna walk down the sidewalk. So they're gonna be entering from this. Oh way my goodness. Way. All right. Is that why? gate okay. right there will be open and I'll be behind and then I'm gonna walk them in they're gonna just come down the middle mm -hmm. come around come around I guess come around here and then they're gonna exit back through that gate go in change go back 